Hey guys, it's me Zane and today we're gonna talk about succulents and blooming succulents. This is the main season of the blooming succulents because spring is the season when a lot of succulents actually start blooming and start producing spikes and buds and flower stalks and things like that. So that's today's topic. More specifically, is my succulent gonna die after blooming? Oh. Well, that's a real question. That's the real deal, right? So yeah, if we are talking about plants and blooming in general, not only in case of succulents, but in the case of all the plants, there are two types of plants, the monocarpic plants and the polycarpic plants. What does that mean? The monocarpic plants, they grow, they grow leaves, they grow stems and they grow roots. And after a time when they are mature enough and the conditions were good enough, they produce flower spikes, they produce buds, they produce flowers and after the flowers were pollinated they produce seeds and after the seeds were actually created and the seeds are viable after that the whole plant just dies and that's that <laughs> so these types of plants, the monocarpic plants the main goal of these plants is to bloom once in their lifetime and that's that. They are not gonna continue to live because when they are producing the seeds some chemical changes happen in the plant itself which tells them to die. So they won't continue to live, they will continue to live through their seeds but these kind of plants are producing a lot of offsets through their lifetime so they continue to propagate themselves and continue their living through offsets so a sexual propagation but also since their main goal is to produce seeds they will propagate sexually as well so these are the monocarpic plants and there are some succulents which are monocarpic plants but on the other hand we have the polycarpic plants which means they can bloom year after year or whatever the season is they can bloom and bloom and continue to bloom in every year or in their season after blooming they can bloom again and these plants don't die after producing seeds the chemical changes which happen while producing seeds doesn't affect the plant so they won't die these plants are capable of producing offsets as well but these won't die so these plants are the polycarpic plants these just continue living after they bloom now here's the question there are some succulents which fall into the category of the monocarpic plants but there are some succulents which are polycarpic and they won't die after blooming and I have examples for that because what video this will be if I wouldn't have examples, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm again here with my Agavoides, Echeveria Agavoides but I just love this succulent so much I cannot tell look at these long stalks, these flower stalks I love this plant so for example the Echeveria family all the Echeverias are polycarpic it doesn't matter if they bloomed the flower spikes are actually produced from between the leaves and not from the stem if these flower spikes would be produced from the stem that would be a terminal flower stalk i'm not sure i'm not sure about these expressions because i am used to talk about orchid things so these flower stalks are produced from between the flowers and they actually grow out from the side of the stem so it doesn't affect the plant itself so that means after blooming this plant will actually continue to produce more leaves and it will actually continue to live so for example the echeverias are these polycarpic types of plants but on the other hand there are the semper vivums which are like the frost hardy echeverias because they grow here in the temperate zones and they can withstand snow and frost and birds are so loud today so they can be sent this frost so i call them the frost hardy echeverias they are the semper vivums house leeks i don't know there are a lot of names for that plant and they are actually monocarpic so if you don't know semper vivums i can tell you that through their lifetime they produce like a thousand million of offsets they produce these little pops or something and they produce a lot of those so 
they actually ensure that they don't only propagate themselves sexually but asexually as well so those plants are pretty good plants i like them so those plants are monocarpic those plants produce their flower stalks from the center of the rosette so it's actually it looks like so if this would be a semper vivum it would look like that the center is actually elongating and elongating and it's going up to a tall something which is covered in leaves and things like that and after it produces buds and it blooms now since that plant has no other space to grow more leaves because the stem was actually transformed into a flower stalk there's no other space for it to create more leaves and to continue living so the plant after producing the flowers and the seeds the plant actually dies but there are a lot of offsets around the plant which were created through its lifetime so it's okay i really like those flowers because one they look beautiful when they are in flower two they look beautiful when they aren't blooming <laughs> and three they spread fast because they propagate themselves sexually a lot and they make so many offsets that it can cover a big pot in like no time so i like those plants and let's talk about more examples for example there are the aeoniums the aeoniums are like the gecaverias with very long stalks aeoniums create like very long stems and the very long stems have the tiny not that tiny that wide rosette on the end i like those plants as well those plants are monocarpic as well the flower stalk actually emerges from the stem itself it elongates and then it blooms and it's very beautiful but after it the plant actually dies because it bloomed for example there are the sedums which can be tricky for the first and untrained eye because the sedums are like sedums bloom in a specific way that sedums when they are growing and when they decide to bloom it looks like that the flower stalk actually starts to elongate and it blooms but after blooming it creates an offset which actually grows and grows more so it doesn't actually die after blooming because after they bloomed it just starts to grow more so this is the difference between the monocarpic and the polycarpic plants for example here is my aeonium tabuliforme which creates a very flat rosette okay this one is not flat because it is like this but it started to produce this flower spike from the center of the rosette so this aeonium actually will die after blooming but the tricky part with the aeonium tabuliformer is that this plant actually propagated through seeds rather than through offsets because it is really not prone so this one is really not prone to produce anything offsetish or producing anything asexual propagation thingies so this one is a very special plant i really like it because it's completely flat but it's hard to pro no okay it's not hard but it's harder to propagate since it blooms and after it dies and it's a really beautiful plant i have two of these plants so i will try to um, actually propagate these seeds propagate this one by seeds because it's going to be blooming soon so i'm looking forward to that so this is again a monocarpic plant okay so these are the differences between the monocarpic and the polycarpic plants and if you want to know if your succulent is polycarpic or monocarpic you just you have to research that in google because i cannot tell you everything and every species or something uh, but google has the information for you so check your plants out if you are curious if it will die or won't die after blooming you just write into the google the name of the species or the hybrid you have and you write after it monocarpic or polycarpic or anything and i'm sure you will find it so if you're curious about that search for it in the google so i hope this video was useful and i hope i can i can help for you with this information so this is my video for today i hope you liked it if you liked it click on the like button leave a comment i will answer them if you have any questions subscribe to this channel subscribe to my other channel and follow me on instagram also you can find useful informational videos here somewhere i think and also you can find some good videos 
if you click on the info card in that corner or that corner, I'm not sure which one. See you next time. Bye guys.